A search using ground-penetrating radar began Saturday morning at the site of the former Shubenacadie Residential School in Nova Scotia. Anthropologist Jonathan Fowler is working with a team to investigate the site. This work needs to happen now and it needs to be done thoroughly and it needs to be done uh, rapidly without sacrificing quality. It operated from 1929 until 1967 and was the only Indigenous residential school in the Maritimes. Instances of abuse have been widely shared by former residential school survivors like Alan Knockwood. The education was through punishment and uh, they tried to make me, or turn me into a white guy, a Caucasian. They succeeded in knocking the language out of me. Demolished in 1986, it's still a place of trauma for the Mi'kmaq. The community is hurting and mourning following the apparent discovery of 215 children buried at the former residential school site in Kamloops, B.C. Knockwood, who says his aunt attended the Shubenacadie facility, told him there were burials here. I remember coming up here with her and walking the grounds and saying, and having her point out, they're buried here, they're buried over there. They're buried over here. Given the discovery in Kamloops, the Mi'kmaq community wanted to act fast and search for any new evidence of burials. And I called Jonathan just uh, and Roger just to get their thoughts on uh, a potentially of looking at this site. And they automatically said yes, fairly quick. And, uh, and I said, you know, we run on no budget. And they said they were willing to do it for free. Knockwood says it's important to exhaust all search options to know the full truth. But I'm glad that they're finally getting the word out there and finally listening. And, you know, the truth hurts. The federal government says there is funding available to support this work, but Sabaganagadi First Nation isn't waiting for Ottawa to act. My thing is that I hate when stuff gets stuck in the red tape and, you know, gets put off for forever, right? So we just took it, uh, something we wanted to get going for all of the Maritimes um, communities and um, just wanted to start it right away. And This ground search will take weeks to complete. Organizers say it will be more exhaustive using better technology than a previous effort. Jesse Thomas, Global News, Shubenacadie, Nova Scotia.